and um, we would lose that coverage. Christina McLean lives in Knoxville with her husband and their daughter. She battled breast cancer and has been in remission for three years, which mean regular visits to oncologists. Part of the Affordable Care Act bans insurance companies from denying a person coverage due to pre-existing conditions. I have a pre-existing condition, and um, with that without that in you know law i would never get insurance coverage ever again i mean i've had cancer another part of obamacare says young adults can stay on their parents insurance until they turn 26 and 19 year old ut freshman jackson dickert says that's important to him i was diagnosed with hashimotos so my body is attacking my thyroid essentially among other health issues he says his family gets health insurance through the exchange and he says he worries a repeal without an immediate replacement placement would strain him and his family medically and financially. Senator Lamar Alexander, who wants to start the repeal process in January, says Congress should replace and repeal at the same time. That replacement should be implemented step by step to minimize disruptions and make sure the changes in the system work well. Congressman Jimmy Duncan agrees and says thousands of Tennesseans now have the option of only one health insurance carrier. Most Obama Health insurance co-ops like Knoxville's Community Health Alliance have failed. We reached out to UT's political science department to see if the Affordable Care Act is something Trump can repeal with an executive order. The professor we spoke with says no, that requires a simple majority vote in Congress, and Republicans have the votes in the House and probably in the Senate as well. Robin and John. All right, Becca, thank you. A judge today.